Hello! Welcome back to Tales of Magi Out. Um, let's just continue on uh, this way. Uh, we should be strong enough to attempt this maze. Um, I think I'm just gonna clear this area first. This is um, is a tier two area, so it's the second uh, degree of difficulty. Seems like someone deactivated that ability. Mages um, are generally the more difficult types of enemies, so it's understandable that they would still do a bit of damage to us. Yeah, these avoided our as well. Really epic music as well. I sort of half want to explore the areas just to hear the different music they've got for all of them. About there. General page, Corpus. This place is infested. I found a lot of skeletons now, and unfortunately, most of them have borne a full set of limbs. However, my holy quest cannot be denied. Plus, I got a really great sword of one of the blighters. I chop anything up easily now. The skeletal mages have been a nice born nuisance, but I found a new weapon to use against them. A phase door rune. As soon as I catch sight of one of the robed wretches, I activate my rune and boom, I'm away. It's not fleeing, it's just tactical repositioning. Yes, we are fortunately strong enough to take out mages at this point. as well. Um, yeah, killed him without too much trouble. Here we found one of the locked areas that I was on about in a previous episode. Um, we can probably manage this since we're a bit over leveled for this area. Yeah, level 13 enemies should be fine for us really. Another set of doors here. So there's a trap there. You just keep getting hit by this trap, it seems. Okay. I wasn't a further room, it was just. Uh, Exit. Okay. Seems fine. Uh, it's a blue thing we picked up there. Let's see. So this is superpowers. Reducing all fire, cold, light, and arcane by 43 for 7 turns. I'd rather have something that can have a constant effect going.
an archer there. Archers can be quite annoying. Corporal, Corporal. The performer told me what this place was called, it reminds me of something. That thing is coming back to me now. My mother used to tell me a story about our ancestors, how they fled by ship to escape the grafts, grasp of an evil sorcerer who dominated the lands. The sorcerer was a vile necromancer, who took advantage of the destruction of the spellblaze, the cataclysm to create huge armies when dead. People fought against him time and time again. Though he would be defeated, he would still come back. So it turns after hundreds of years. That sorcerer's name was Corporal. Probably just a coincidence. Yes, I'm sure. Now, so the next floor it is. Archery is uh, quite good in this game. I enjoy it. Just come with its downsides, though. But you know, as is everything. Quiet down here. Dark. Very dark. I suppose I should have brought a lantern. Our motto is to bring light into dark places, but I guess I should have thought about that in practical terms. We cleared out pretty much all of this area, and there's not much left to explore beyond this last room. This adventuring stuff is quite lonely, I must say. I guess keeping this journal helps a bit. I miss him a lot now. I miss... I miss failure. Maybe I should have said something to her about how I feel. So I guess running away on an adventure seemed easier. How brave of me. I was cut out for this paladin work. Here I am alone in a horrible dark dungeon in an unknown land, without a single sound to keep me company beyond the scratchings of my own quill. Hmm. Except for... Seems like he uh, ran into something. The shade. The skeleton looks nasty. The red flames in its empty eye sockets. Got a, la a nasty sword and strides towards you. Prone to spells. Trolls and damp caves. Surefire. This tightly strung bow appears to have been crafted by someone of considerable talent. When you pull the string, you feel incredible power behind it. Those tree trunks. It's a big, nasty looking tree trunk of a build the troll used as a little weapon. We didn't have it on him when we killed him, though. It could still serve its purpose should you be strong enough to wield it. Okay. Um, so that's this last area done. Let's see. It's got higher damage than our current weapon. Let's crit chance though by quite a lot. No burst on here. Uh, no stats attached to it either. Uh, I think I'm just going to keep my kind of weapon. I don't know, it's quite difficult to sometimes tell which one is better for you. But I've only got a quick just working out, so. Yeah. Adventuring parties, you do need to be very careful of them. They spawn a bunch of quite difficult enemies for you. Right, 36 strength to max this. Or we could actually get Abyssal Shield. Um, it's a sustained skill. 
increases armor, increases damage to attack and foes. Reduces all damage by 6% of your current vim. Never buy more than half of the original damage. And of course it's vim as well. That's fine. Yeah. I think I shall take a visible shield. Um, can't quite get destination charge yet, so it's max obliterating smash for now. But we'll not quite max it. Um, could get our crit chance up, but we've got stuff to crits already. Well, I guess it can scale with it maybe. So this is a sort of tier 3 dungeon, it's more difficult, difficult to equip this actually. Um, it's a bit more difficult than any other, thing, any other dungeons we've faced so far. And there's quite a substantial difference between the different tiers of dungeons. We look pretty badass now, don't we? to avoid all their magic attacks. Uh. Yeah, Feather steel and amulet. Weight of the world seems a little lighter with this amulet around your neck. Let's have a look at that. <coughs> Fatigue minus 20%, maximum encumbrance up and movement speed up. The wearer never triggers traps that require pressure. Um, don't really care about fatigue at the moment, like we're not running out of fatigue at all, so. And aside from fatigue, there's nothing really useful attached to it. Stagger seems to be formed of pure shadows with a strange miasma surrounding it. There's a chest, which we should actually explore. Um, again, it's, it's got the potential to create something that we can't actually deal with. If that's the case, um, I should be able to escape anyway. Created something invisible, I think. Did it? Or did it just not have anything in it? It's odd. I don't think I've ever seen a chest with no enemies around it before. you sometimes it can be a bit annoying. Cool. Let's just 
rest up here. Again, no enemy around it. Okay, I guess they um, change that. Dear Diary, lessons are off this week as my tutor has fallen ill, so I decided to sneak out and have a wander around the old maze ruins nearby. I know I guess we'll get in trouble if I'm caught, but as long as I'm back in a couple of days, no one will notice. Besides, I get too bored cooped up in these mountains. I want some fun. This is rather a dirty place for me. I've come across a few bandits and snakes in here, but nothing to threaten a great free mage like me. I remember hearing this labyrinth used to be a prison used by the Harpling King Rupar during the Age of Dusk, but with the lawlessness of the time, Captives were simply sent here to rot. Some say a magical curse infected the place and turned them into bull like monsters that patrol the halls to this day. How exciting! Okay, seems like everything. Get a lot of loot here, as you can see. Um, I'm going to take this with me just because I might need some equip at some point. Amulet willpower. Subcurrent amulets. Um, gives us five damage, five mind power. See stealthy invisible and attack invisible. about you cool, I think. Plus we cunning, plus you willpower. That's not bad. Jesus. Um, I believe there's only two floors to the maze. I might be wrong about that. Um, no, there's only two floors here. So here's the boss anyway. A fearsome bull-headed monster. He swings a mighty axe as he curses all who defy him. This guy uses some curses. Can be quite tricky. HP. This might be the end. this guy there we go there we go phew that was close so you can see why I um you can see why you have to have your due diligence when you're doing the early dungeons steel helm of Garkul the great helmet belonged to Garkul the devourer one of the greatest orcs ever to live uh, there it is part of a set of items Another of Garkul's heirlooms would bring out his spirit. Gives us quite a lot of stats. 10% um, physical damage as well. Definitely better than our current helmet. If we find another Garkul item, uh, we get an added bonus, I suppose.
Having so much fun. Probability travel is making this little trip a breeze. You should have seen the look of that bandit's face when I came out one wall, the spit through another, came around behind him. <laughs> I still remember Archmage Tarion's lecture about the spell. Probability effects can be employed for ease of use, but beware V of relying on them. With ease of use comes ease of mind and the weakening of one's will and concentration. So anyone will find oneself in a situation of risk, bereft of normal judgment of danger. Flow on the mental resources to save oneself. Who'd be well? Bah, tosh. How dumb does he really think I am? Besides, I'm enjoying myself. I'm having an adventure. I saw something. I didn't know what it was. But it was big and shadowy. When I tried chasing it, I got lost. Um, maybe I just imagined it. No. I'm sure something. It must be something cool and exciting. I just have to keep exploring. Dear wise man, ah, what feelings your last letter inspired within me. Primarily mirth, with a good amount of scorn. But you continually assail me with tale after tale of your waving, of wooden swords, and pestering of toothless mongrels. Allow me to recount your legends in a much more succinct manner. One day I failed to kill a dog. Such bravery, such pluck and daring do. Your petty escapades are made ever more insignificant by the trials I myself have recently overcome. Mere days ago, I was trekking through the old forest, sounds like dearth, wise men. Terror must already grip you. When, by unfortunate happenstance, I came across the most hideous, bloated, oozing and chittering horror. No less than the giant ants' repulsive progenitor. Such hordes of frenzied, chitinous young it had at its command. It was as though the ground itself was swarming forwards to devour me. And yet I live, wise men. I sincerely hope that my letters reveal to you your folly. Only when you have faced true danger can you call yourself an adventure. Bore me with your tales no longer, Wolf. Ooh, giant ants. Now I'm not sure why, but I don't seem to be able to move through walls in waveform anymore. I wonder if it's some sort of bug. Chests. Yes, we didn't get anything that great out of the maze, unfortunately. <coughs> That's just quite low below our current level. Um, take this infusion, I think. That's that done. Durf is under attack. You can see the storm clouds raging over the down there. Uh, we've got the golden graveyard here. These are slightly higher level. Um, just slightly too high for us, I believe. Uh, Ziggurat. Ziggurat for the. Um, those are the anti-magic guys, they hate anyone who uses magic. And we'll attack them. Just getting my bearings of the map. It's been a little while since I last played. Should have a mission over here somewhere. Ah. 
Before you stands a man covered in dirt and blood. He's out of breath and half mad. Please, you must help. It is slaughtering everybody in my village. Please, he points his finger at the nearby forest. I will go there and see what I can do. So that opens up this little village. He's screaming not too far from you. Ben Croftar, the cursed. This madman looks extremely dangerous. He wields a big axe and means to use it. Yeah, that was easy. Ben and I is defeated at your feet. For, thank you for <coughs> saving me from the curse. I did not, <coughs> not want this to. <coughs> he coughs one last time and dies. Smile on his face as his curse is gone. Okay. Uh, unlocked the cursed class. Through ignorance, greed, or folly, the cursed served for some dark design and are now doomed to pay for their sins. Their only master now is the hatred they carry for every living thing. Drawing strength from the death of all they encounter, the cursed become terrifying combatants. Worse, any who approach the cursed can be driven mad by the terrible aura. Some of them, however, strive to redeem their faults by using their cursed powers to battle evil. You have lifted the curse of Ben Groftar. You can now create new characters for the cursed class. Cursed are heavy melee warriors, focusing all their hatred into their blows. Can engulf your foes in gloom, weakening, confusion, stunning, and damaging them. Hunt them. Um, Curse class, from what I remember, they're quite weak as many classes, not actually that powerful. Uh, they use hate as a resource, so instead of vim or mana. Um, which increases your kill enemies, decreases your standing idol, which makes them less effective against bosses since you've got less sort of generic enemies to kill. Uh, Quite a difficult class to play. Uh, let's get out of here. Okay, still got a little more time left on this episode. Do some exploring. Time of last hope there. Here we've got the old Tower of Dreadville. Uh, this is a late game tower. Mark of the spell blaze. Um, these two are sort of around the same difficulty. Mark of the spell blaze has a lot of uh, mages in it though. So you need to be quite careful of that. Um, old Valor Town. Here we've got the serious hole in the beach. Ah, and some ziggurat being a nuisance. Yeah, up north. Not much so far. The Boon's Dungeon. I don't reckon we'll be able to attack up ruins dungeon quite yet. Some ancient elven ruins. These are all a little bit too difficult for us at the moment. Um, I think the next place is... Should we just tackle these ziggurat? See if we can do it. You have been ambushed. down. Two. That one bites the dust. Cool. Uh, there's only two of them, so that's quite an easy patrol. Uh, nothing left for us. Some adventurers. 
test our luck here. I want to level up because I want to get this detonating charge spell. It's going to be quite useful for us. Just close the gap on some enemies. It's just max demonic blood for now. Get some points into cunning, get our crit chance up a bit. Detonating charge starts some cooldown, unfortunately. Great swords. They've got arcane disruption forces on though, so we can't really use them. Where that? I only had one ring on. Just no rest. Um. Yeah. It's a good way of making gold, as you can see. We are in the sandworm lair. So this is one of the reasons why I held on to a certain belt earlier that lets us breathe in walls. Um, the way this place works is you see those little sandworms going around. So you can. Um, You can actually let's do it like that. Um, I just want to change the order I've got all my spells in. Let's so do that. Oh, got an orange cloak there. That could be good. But yeah, so those uh, little sandworms that are friendly to you go around digging holes in all the walls, and then you have to follow them through. But um, the Sand just collapse soon afterwards. Let's just have a look at this cloak. Tier 3. Uh, decent armor and defense on it. 2 willpower and 2 magic. 22% temporal resistance, 17% cold, 5% arcane, 6% darkness. Okay. Can be used to blink randomly to range 8. Within two spaces of a target hostile creature. Yeah. Why well, have we still got this? We can transport if I like that. Um, I mean, compared to our kind cloak, it's probably worth it. <laughs> it barely fits on me. Put them in display. Ah, we got a weapon with quite a lot more damage than our current one. We shall be using that. Sandworm, just follow it around. Found the exit, but we want to explore the rest of this level first. Oops. 
Let's try that spell. Wow. It's pretty awesome, actually. Back here. Damn it. <laughs> and we're on the clear another way for me. Sort of want to go down. Damn it. <laughs> there we go. Anything. Ah, it's a golden chest, see. That's why you want to clear out all these areas. Just an amethyst. Looks like there's an area down there somewhere. We do have a pickaxe, but you can't actually use the pickaxe in this area because um, it takes too many turns to actually dig a hole. So um, everything will just collapse by the time you're done. Um, well, that's better than our other wings. Summoner. Not sure why we unlocked that here. Uh, oh, it's probably because we saw an enemy use a summon skill. In the wilds, some people and creatures are able, by the soul force of their will, to call upon allies to aid them in combat. You have witnessed such an act and can now create new characters with the summoner class. Summoners are wilders who are at home in the wilds and draw their power from their connection with nature. Class features. Summon allies ranging from a warhound to a mighty fire drake. Take choice control of your summons. Augment your summons with various powers. All wilder classes use equilibrium as their powers, as their resources. Um, it represents their connection to nature. The higher it gets, the more balance we are of it, and high equilibrium makes for a chance to fail to use a power and to lose a turn. Which is quite disastrous in this game. Nice. Could do with some better runes actually. Or oh, infusions. Song of the Sands. The dragon's breath grows my eyes. It tears flesh from my skin. But onward, onward I search to see what lies amidst the sandy depths within. The powers of sand will pass my head, nearly crushing me alive. But I hold you on, bereft of dread, for my quest I must survive. I want to follow a sandworm, I don't want anything collapsing on me. Okay. Let's see where these guys are going. Uh, go left. Sandworms in the way. Maybe that's too close. I think you've got to be a certain amount of distance from an enemy to use that skill. Ouch. That's what happens when sand collapses on you. Seals up here. Two enemies here. Um, just gets us a little distance. 
That's fine. It gives us time to use our magic. There's any gold in the chest. Sucks. Uh, I've actually explored everything up here. Maybe I'm in double checking. Oops. I know you can't kill these guys, um, even with like airy spells and stuff. Down there, so you wanna I wanna wait for someone to come downwards from here. Yeah, I think we've explored everything now. Okay, nothing there for us. Uh, Okay, Shadow just gave us the opportunity to uh, make our easy over here. Hopefully. A bit low on stamina here. Ouch. That would be the sand. What happened there is exactly how you can die sometimes. <laughs> you um, just take an extra certain amount of damage from a source you didn't see coming. Uh, yeah, you get anything like way out of that. We haven't had much luck with chests so far. If we really want to be finding more orange gear. The sandworms go from strength to strength, ever greater do they seem. With towering height and massive length, it is all as if a dream. To the darkest depths I now depart, searching for my own fate. How I long to taste the beating heart of the, legend of the legendary worm so great. So yeah, the uh, boss of this area, uh, you can eat his heart. I don't like eat your heart out, so eat his heart. Uh, here's this guy off to now. Purple shield, it's a bit meh. Cool, and yeah, let's, let's level up first. Um, so, on this level, we get an extra class point instead of a generic point. Um, because, for whatever reason, they think that's how you balance. Yeah, they must think it's unbalanced for you to get too points. Not quite sure why. Um, that looks like a really good skill. Not good against bosses, but otherwise, pretty awesome. I just want to get destroyed because it sounds freaking awesome. Um, 
Plus it's instant and instant spells are always pretty good. Flowing flames just seem pretty good. Uh, it's last like blazing rebirth thing. It sounds like it will like keep you going for an extra turn, but then uh, yeah, it will keep you alive for maybe a couple turns against a boss, but you'll just die afterwards anyway. Six magic. Yes, I'll be leveling up that then. Start leveling up Flame of a Rock. Stuff. Um, we can't use it, but I guess that's kind of cool. Yeah. There might be one more floor after this. Um, can't entirely remember. Two more chests here. Which bits are there? Um, okay. I've seen the Queen in glory true, and she has moved me to my soul. Oh Queen, let me be a part of you. Please devour me, swallow me whole. Okay. Yeah. Ah, Sandbone Queen. We meet at last. Oh God. an easy, easy boss there. Swordbreaker, this ordinary blade is made of fine, sturdy Vorison. Brayton, no idea. And outfitted with jagged hooks along the edge. Simple appearance, but lies a great power. Look at more of this dagger, with many a blade. The stride of many would-be warriors. Heart of the Sandworm Queen. The heart of the Sandworm Queen, ripped from her dead body. You could consume it. 
Should you feel mad enough? Or you can try to corrupt it elsewhere. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what we should do with that. Um, we get an immediate bonus of stuff, skill points, if we just consume it now, I think. And we also get a, um, a skill tree that opens up to us. But I think it's a, like a nature skill tree or something. Something we don't really care about. There must be more in this level that I haven't seen yet. Yeah. Uh, I guess not. Okay, we can just get out of here. So that's a dagger, so we can't really use that, unfortunately. Um, movement infusions are actually really good. I want to take that for sure. So I put randomly in a range of 48. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of armor on that. No cunning or willpower though. Yeah, it's probably worth using anyway. So our goals is ever increasing. Um, well thanks for joining me for this episode guys, I'm going to end it here. Hope you enjoyed, drop a like, comment, favourite and subscribe for more. And as always, I will see you guys next time.